this is training on how to use the power software first step is to get into the software over on this side you'll see in the towers icon just double click on it when it loads up go ahead and put in your normal Windows username and password that you've been using okay once you log in you will see uh, you won't see all these other things that are on mine uh, most of the crews will see this text icon you'll click on it and your list of jobs will come up also a map the map is fairly simple right now uh, lots of improvements to come down the road for this map but there it is for convenience has a little hover over with some basic information about the job same information here is a link to get into that work order we'll go in there in just a minute as well as location information and a little bit about what you will be doing at that site uh, you'll notice here that there's an assign section an on hold section and a revisit section the revisit is for when you complete a job and you submit it to the manager but the manager needs more information and kicks it back to you those will appear here and we'll do one of those in just a minute so we'll go to our assigned and we're gonna go ahead and kick into work order number 13 here and as that loads up you'll notice a few options here first of all this is where some action items have you can put this job on hold if you need to that'll put it in your hold queue you can complete the job when you're done uh, this will not be enabled on your screen uh, but managers can go in and cancel a job for uh, any reason uh, here you have basic information about the customer this is more information about the site these details buttons uh, don't provide much now they'll go into a detail screen but down the road they'll give you a lot more historical information about what's going on at these particular things the heart of it is down here in the work order details this is where the dates and other things are here this will tell you if it was a notum or an emergency as it kicked off to you uh, you'll also know who the manager is etc and the scope of work um, when we go to do work most of the years from the beginning we'll have not a lot of information here in the assets section so we're gonna go ahead and add but this is the heart of doing a work order is this area right here so let's say we're gonna go work on a component on the tower we're just gonna get on here and we're gonna work on the flash head so we'll pick flash head we'll go ahead and type in the make the model and the serial number if you've got it and then any other information down here we'll go ahead and hit OK now this is valuable because down the road it allows to and allow you to see past work other things that have been done it'll give us a lot of good information down the road and make life easier uh, it's a little hassle up front to put it in there and sometimes this information will already be there entered for you now once we have this piece of information in there now we can go ahead and say what we did on it while we we're out there so I'm gonna go ahead and hit the double arrows which kicks into this work completed section so I can go ahead and say what we did put the description of work there and then you can also add parts by clicking on this blue click here to add new item link uh, for now it's just a free text where you can just type in what you put down the road shortly this will be tied directly to the inventory that's on your vehicle or in please don't use these kind of descriptors they're pretty terrible all right and so and the kicker here before this OK button will light up is you have to hit tab out just to make sure that the red goes away and that gives me the green light to go ahead and hit OK and so this added our work completed down below you'll see a summary of work performed and also a list of parts and if you go back within I think 12 hours everything will be treated on the same day anything after 12 hours will be treated as another subsequent visit also if you just need to type some extra stuff uh, you can go ahead and add a comment here this will be bigger but for now alright so you put some information and hit OK and a conversation can go on about this work order any additional things that there's just not a space for you can go ahead and put in comments last thing I wanted to show you down here is in this area we'll have those the 90 day site inspection forms or the Nate site safety audit form etc they're here but right now we don't want you to use them we're not quite saving some data on them and uh, more importantly we're gonna make it shortly so that only if it's needed will it automatically open up for you 
and then you can do it. Otherwise, if it's not open, then you don't need to fill it in. So just keep that as a general rule. If those things don't pop open for you, don't fill them in. Uh, for now, just keep filling in what you normally do uh, on your existing laptops and send those in via email or however you normally do it. So don't use these yet. Just wanted to point out that they're here. So we've completed this work order. We've got it where we want it. So we'll scroll back up to the top and we will go ahead and mark it as complete. And you will notice that when you go back to your list of work that that is now completed and out of the way. Now, one thing, when a manager gets that or some of your other jobs and wants to send it back to you, I'm going to show you what that looks like. I'm going to go in as a manager and send that back to you. So we've sent this back as a manager to you, and you'll notice now when you're in this, you'll have up on top a little exclamation point and a link saying, hey, you've got some work orders that need more information. If you come down here to revisit the work orders that need you to revisit and come back and not revisit physically, but to look at the invoice, you'll just click on that link, open up the work order, and you'll notice down here in the comments whatever the manager wanted you to see. So he's casing on your parts descriptions that were pretty lame. So you can go in, go fix it, and then on your way back, and add whatever additional comments, and when you're done, hit complete it again. And you'll notice that it's out of your revisit list, and uh, you've just got one job left to do. Uh, that's basically the crux of it. Uh, ignore this side section other than your one tab and completely ignore this side section. In fact, if you want, you can grab it and just drag it out of your way. We'll be adding uh, bulletin boards and part searches for now. Just uh, We want to get the heart of this working for you so we can switch over to the new system. I'm sure you have lots of ideas and suggestions. Be sure to email those in. We'll get to making things better as soon as possible and get it going great for you.